and everyone and welcome back to the uh, February, March last April sketchbook. Um, as you can see, we just have this one lonely sketchbook. Um, I've just been really working on this one solely. It's very transportable and I bring it with me everywhere rather than my bigger ones, um, which I haven't been working on that on them as frequently. Um, so yeah, and uh, compared to the last one, the last sketchbook video, I don't think this might this one might be a little bit of a shorter one, mostly because I've just been working on schoolwork and animations and finals are coming up, so yeah, you guys get it, you get it, you get it. So um, without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so when we first left off, we left off on this page, Valentine's Day, yay, woo! Um, and then, so we have, um, and then I start getting, I want to experiment more with, um, less about, you know, using or seeing each page as one page and then making, and then I wanted to make, kind of experiment around with like two pager things of like a full illustration. Um, so this is Brett and Melosa. I just kind of wanted to. I don't know. I like my characters and I like Brett's motorcycle. So I just wanted to draw that and Melosa's a little hot dog dog that she has. And I just want, I like Brett, I like drawing Brett being flustered. I don't know. It's cute. And oh, here's that kind of two pager again. Um, but this one is vertical and um, it's inspired by the song of Death of a Bachelor. Which, ah, dude, I've been listening to that song on repeat so many times. It's so gatchy and it's so nice. Um, but this character is it, it is like a canon character in my world. I just haven't really introduced him yet, just because I haven't really fleshed him out that well. But pretty much, it's this character. It's kind of like he's kind of like the oddball in the world a little bit. Like he you like he, he's more of a, like a tragic tragedy character if anything else um because like what happened was like he was this really rich kid and really charismatic and kind of like full of himself and like his head was like kind of like a gold bar kind of thing and like something happened and it sort of melted in a way um like like i've said in the past like object heads can grow their heads back but not all of them if that makes sense like things like food and fruits and drinks anything like that they can be repaired but um if anything like gets melted that's a little bit more tricky if that makes sense so he's kind of like stuck with this half melted gold bar nugget kind of thing and um he walks around wearing this um this little bag over his head with his little smiley face to like cover up his face in a way. He's still like charismatic in a way, but he's a little bit more more or less uh, insecure about his face and his object head uh, representing him. So um, yes, that is a whole backstory on his character. And I felt like Death of a Bachelor is like really a great song for him because it's like the death of him because he's a bachelor i know like the death of a bachelor song it means like the guy's getting married and it's a death of a bachelor but more or less the message of this death of a bachelor song pertain to him is more like the death of a bachelor whereas he's not longer eligible to be um picked anymore because nobody's gonna like him so kind of like that whatever <laughs> it's just it's a long story ah so um more notes and i started sticking the little uh, pamphlets in here recently so this is um some designs for a dumb ball run i had to do <sighs> i'm not even gonna get into that that was just so dumb and there's like notes and stuff um, and then here I start placing my business cards everywhere. Um, not my business cards, but business cards I've collected. And these are uh, people, well not her, 
I mean him. This is this is like a fake business card for like uh, uh, a really famous, you know, everybody knows Monet. I don't have to explain it. But this is like a business card thing uh, for Monet if he was like still around. But um, but these three are MCAT students. Go check them out. They are very nice uh, artists. And then notes. And then I have this little um, thing. I don't know. I there's like this um this animal called like a jerlock jerlock I could be totally wrong but I just wanted to draw that little animal with like really big shoes because I can picture them having like really big shoes <laughs> I don't know um more business cards this is actually this one's actually for um if I can like pick it out here this one's for an ice cream shop um down in Minneapolis so if you want to go to milk jam for Mary they have a lot of cool stuff um yeah and then this is just a postcard for an exhibition that i went to and i'm not gonna get too much into this because it's for a collab that i'm going to do with somebody i'm not gonna say who because it's a surprise but uh basically we're going to be doing a psychology based collab so yeah i'm not gonna go too into that it's a secret and this is kind of where uh this is like my final thing for that rabbit Jerlock thing. It, I don't know. It's not. Oh, no, it's a Jerboa. Jerboas! Yes, that's what they're called. They're called Jerboas. And if you look them up, they're so cute. They're like, they're kind of like those rat things from Coraline, if you get what I'm saying. Like those bouncing mice. Um, yeah, that's kind of what they reminded me of. My roommate gave this to me. Um, it was like part of her thing she gets in the mail. And, um, more art history notes, Milosa, I don't know, um, this was perspective practice for my drawing one, um, assignment, as you can see, it is not looking too great, um, and then this was, like, some emotion-based practice for, like, an animation assignment where we're gonna do, so she wanted us to do that, our teacher, anyway. Um, this was my mo note from Amanda, and I like put her like little business cards in here too. Um, and then, oh, I need to post this video. Um, sorry, I keep forgetting to post this dumb video. Um, I recently went to the Guillermo del Toro ex ex exhibition at the Minneapolis Institute of the Arts, which is like an art museum like right next door to MCAD. Like I could just walk there right now if I wanted to, but um, yeah. If you don't know Guillermo del Toro, then I recommend you definitely go look him up. He's um, the art director and director of uh, films like Pan's Labyrinth, and that's the only one I know. <laughs> and, um, oh, Spider Rick Chronicles, and um, Hellboy, and, you know, films like that. So, um, yeah, please go check him out. He's a, a wonderful director and art director. And um, the team he has creates a beautiful artwork. And when I upload this video, I'll definitely put like a little annotation here so you can go see all the beautiful artwork. And then this, ooh, there we go. Um, this is, uh, I don't know. I wanted to draw my character from Animal Crossing, um, an Animal Crossing story. <laughs> and this is like actually the outfits that I wear sometimes. I think it's like the cutest thing ever. Um, because I recently got the code from Mabel. So she, uh, the code machine or whatever from the little porcupine in the shop. So I can do whatever I want with my clothes and stuff. So, um, yeah. And then this was like, and then I wanted like, this was kind of like my imaginary boyfriend in a way. Because he looks like Brett. I mean, Brett is beautiful enough. So why not? Whatever. Anyways. <laughs> so, um. Yeah, this is gonna be like my neighbor or whatever. Lives like the next door, the the boy next door or whatever. And then um, I started falling a lot for some reason in the Animal Crossing game. I still haven't looked up why I keep falling on the ground on my face. Like I keep eating it every five seconds, and just, sometimes it just drives me nuts. More, gosh, just so many business cards. More business cards. More business cards. More business. Cards. These are actually not people from MCAD. This is, um, these are business cards from the exhibitioners that are at the Light Gray Art Lab uh, in downtown Minneapolis. And 
yeah these are beautiful artists especially Cammy Hel Kelly Hamilton I was gonna buy like a print for her but from her but it was like way too expensive and I don't have that kind of money but um yeah definitely go check out all these people um yes uh if you want me to tell you anything about like these people because I know like um, these cards are like a little bit turned over so if you like want to know the artists from which these business cards are from just comment down below and I'll definitely tell you and then this was like I think this was like a, a loose thing in my sketchbook and then I just I decided to stick that in there I think you guys have seen this before oh uh, <laughs> okay first of all let's talk about this Jesus tape um I found this Jesus tape at um at the free shelf and i thought it was the funniest thing in the world so uh i've definitely taped the edges of a few pages along here and also mordecai and rigby because i've been watching me and my roommate have been binging on regular show a lot lately and i just really wanted to draw them and i'm really in love with uh, a lot of fan art fan art people have been doing so i just wanted to draw them in my style for myself and i love how this came out i think it looks so rad uh, more Melissa and Brent being all cutesy. Uh, more notes and more Jesus tape. Um, more notes and this was a character design practice for, cause like every 10 minutes before class starts, um, uh, our animation teacher has us do a 10 minute character sketch. So, um, I've just been drawing object heads, of course, so, cause that's what I'm best at. So this was actually my coffee cup that I had that one, uh, the day that I sketched this. Um, there's a coffee shop called Dunn Brothers that is near MCAD, so we like, me and my roommate like to go there once in a while because they have student discounts, so that's also really nice. So, and that's, again, another Dunn Brothers coffee, coffee thingy, more coffee needed. Um, and then I decided to draw Benson, and I'm gonna put like a little thing right here because I did draw Benson on my Cintiq, um, digitally that I really like, so I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put that in there too. Um, but this is another Benson that I drew at, um, an art sale that I went to. I was part of another convention, um, it's called Minicon. It was an MCAT student run mini convention. Uh, that I participated in and I made a good whopping $30 so that bought me good groceries that week but um, yeah I met a, re a really great people and I was offered an internship which is awesome and I was offered a potential client as well to do an animation for his book so keep a lookout for that um, and then I also got some some anatomy practice going on right there. Um, and then this is just more notes. This is literally my notes for um, art history and then notes, I mean, doodles on those notes. Um, this is actually somebody else's character. This is a character that uh, I saw on Instagram and she tagged me in it because uh, she thought I would, she was copying me and bless her heart. She wasn't copying me, I swear. I really liked her character. Um, so I kind of drew her in this little mug that I have um, that was sitting on my desk in our history. How about that? And then I drew um, left brain and right brain in different wedding dresses as I would see them fit. And then this was like my overall bun run, ball run design. Yeah, we had to make a structure and everything out of wood. It was just, it was so freaking dumb. So, um, oh, oh my goodness, no! Okay, I'm gonna have to tape that. <laughs> But this is also some more Brett and Melosa um, being all cutesy together. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. Um, <laughs> whatever. Um, and I also, on the free shelf, god the free shelf is so awesome. I got this like really, these six bottles of ink and they were like all full. And I was like, a uh, jackpot because those inks are like $8 a bottle and I got them for free. And then I was digging even more and I found pen and pen nibs and I was like, jackpot! So um, I've been experimenting with those um, ink bottles and ink nibs and pens. And this is just like one of the starters that I did. So yeah, somebody please remind me to um, put that back where it belongs. Um, wow, even more notes, even more notes, even more notes, even more notes. 
Um, yeah, these, this was, um, so we had to do a lip sync animation. I ended up not going with this. I was going to animate the, the, the audio from I'm at Soup. You know, that guy like starts yelling at him. was like, why are you buying clothes at the soup store? Um, but yeah, I was going to have like these two characters like doing that whole bit, but I kind of, it was way too long and I was doing something else at the time. So I kept it short and I kept it from a regular shallow audio clip that I took. So look out for that. Um, I still have to add the lips to it and the mouth. So. Um, speaking of mouths and lips, um, <laughs> this is, um, we had to draw a mouth chart for animation. As you can see, there's like some mistakes because I was doing it with a pen, but um, I feel like this is like a really solid mouth chart and we couldn't reference anything but our own mouths, so this is pretty accurate for what I was going for. So if you want to reference this, like go right ahead, I don't, I don't mind whatsoever. And then these were just, um, I'm filming something for a reanimate jam that MCAD is going on, but bleh, bloop, bloop. Anyways, let me switch that over. Um, so the MCAD's animation study group is doing a reanimate jam, um, event. So I was, I am part, I'm like not even done with my video. So I am participating in that. And, um, what I'm doing is I'm reanimating the slam poem Pretty by Katie McKay. If you don't know that poem, um, definitely go check her out. She's a beautiful um, poetry reader and um, her well-known slam poem Pretty is really inspiring as well. So once that video comes out, you will definitely know what poem I'm talking about. So let's keep going here. Um, Let's not talk about this. Um, like, okay, so I've been really binge watching like some crime shows recently, and um, there was there's a show called Disappeared, and it just this show like I love the show. It's so set up so nicely, but like they never find the people. Like they never find the people at the end, and they're like really recent uh, disappearances. So they. Oh, they still don't know where the people are and it drives me nuts and like it's like so obvious who did it and it just and I like I had a I had to write down my theory of like one of the episodes so this is for the most recent episode this is for the Lynn disappearance I forget her last name but go check out that episode it's just it'll make you so mad <sighs> anyways rant over so this is the three-piece um, thing um, we have to do a, um, let me kind of like shift over. We have to do a three part uh, drawing um, for our drawing one class. So this is, ooh, so this is basically my three part sketch kind of thing that's going on. So like we have to include one two point perspective and one one point. And so I've got one point here, two point here, and one point over there. So, yes, that's basically it. And then <laughs> for our 3D foundations project, um, we have to, we're starting to do metalworking now. So we have to make an abstract sculpture um, out of metal and it has to stand on its own. It has to be at least two feet wide. So. This is my inspiration, like, she said we can take inspiration from a thing, but it can't be that thing. Can't, like, obviously be that thing, if that makes sense. So, um, this is my representation of a crane, abstract representation, and I have, like, a lot of <laughs> glitter, leftover glitter and rhinestones and silky, shiny stuff that I, and mirror bits that I have, like, just lying around. So I really want to incorporate that into this crane sculpture thing. Haven't started it, um, but I will let you know how it turns out. And that's notes, and that was even more initial sketches of that thing. Uh, this was another 10 minute sketch, animation sketch. Um, I've been like drinking Monster a lot recently. I don't know about you guys, if you guys drink Monster energy drinks, but yeah, Monster has been a lot better than coffee <laughs> these past few weeks so I've been relying on that and that was my object head of monster 
And then um, this was just some initial sketches for the lip sync, lip sync animation that I'm working on now. So yeah, it, it's it's a it's a clip audio clip from regular show, but I'm animating me and my roommate as our personas. So her persona is a tan greyhound, and mine is a black cat, obviously. So yeah, and that's it for uh, this week. I guess that was pretty long. I, I don't know. I've been doing a lot of sketches recently. And um, yeah, this is my schedule if you guys want to check it out. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm going to be taking Intro to Psychology, Media 2, Character Animation 2, Drawing 2, and Neuro Aesthetics, which is an online class. So that's going to be exciting. So um, I hope you guys like this sketchbook video. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it and if you want to see more of these. Definitely message me once in a while to make sketchbook videos because not gonna lie sometimes I forget so um that being said I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys have an amazing morning afternoon evening wherever in the world you may be and I will see you guys in the next sketchbook or art video whatever I make I love you guys so 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 much bye